Good evening, everybody. Shorov, it's a great pleasure for all of us here to have you with us. Shorov Chandar, Jini announcement Korchilo, Amadir Banglar Gaurave Shamonde, Tar cricketing career Shamonde, Onik Borobora Kotha Bolo, Jetta fact. He is really great. But I want to say that the fact that I know that Shourav is a greater, much greater human being. Yes, he deserves a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Actum down to earth, I want to say that I want to say खूब अप्रोचेबल एवं माटीर मानुष बोलते जा बुझाए शोरब गांगुली ताई सारा भारत बहुत शेर उन्नो तमो सेलिब्रिटी पोस्चिम मंगेर एक नंबर सेलिब्रिटी पौनरो छोलो बच्चोर ख्याला छेरे दावार पड़े हो इटा एक बिराल घटना एकदम इटा इटा खूबी बिराल এবং আমি যেটা প্রথম জানতে চাইব যে যে সৌরভ আইপিএল এন্ডোর্সমেন্টস দাদাগিরি এই শেডিউলটা মেইনটেইন করো কি করে थैंक यू বাপিদা প্রথমে তোমাকে অনেক অনেক ধন্যবাদ এত সুন্দর কথা বলার জন্য uh, Bengal, uh, Bengal Business Council ke onek dhono baad. Amat toroth theke amak ekhane invite korar jonno achke e bikele ekhane onek guni manus achen. Very successful people are here. Amar shamne ek jonno achen Chandra Shekhar Babu. Uh, Onake jato bar ami dekhi. Amar shathe onar association bohu din gindu jato bar onake ami dekhi. I really feel happy about it. Uh, Aro onake achen ekhane. Uh, Shaban naam ami nite palla na, but uh, I feel extremely honored to be here among all of you among all the successful people of Bengal because just like all of you, I am a very, very, very Bengali. I am a ami. So, whenever I see Jokhani Ami Dekhi, Banglar Manush, Banglar Gunijan, Banglar Successful Manush, Amar Shuddhi Khubhal Lage because uh, I feel I am a part of, one part of it. Thai, ekhane Ashad Junno, I am really happy. I said I said I'll definitely come. Not because I knew what Bengal Business Council is. The reason is I can't tell no to him. You know, he keeps asking me to come a few places every now and then. Not very, very often, but every now and then. And I can't say no to him. So, uh, as I said, thank you for inviting. Uh, and thank you it's for those pleasure. kind words. It's our pleasure. Bing Ikhani Amadir Bengal Business Councilor Shodosho Shodoshara Ache Tadan Mudhe Bishoshot Tohoche Amra Shabai Bangali, Jetatumi Bolle Ebong Amra Shabai Babshai Ebong Tin number Hoche Amra Shabai JJ Store Achi, Choto Babshai Hok, Majari, Baboro Amra Shabai Chesta Kurchi, Shuffle Hoa Jun. आरो शफल हो आज जन्म। जब ये शफल होता है कथा बोलता है, तो हाले तुम ही एक ता एग्जाम्पल। अमरा आरो की कुरे शफल होते पारी, जब ये आमदर एक तो बोलो। कोठीन प्रश्न है डर बापी तो तारा के तुम्हार आगे प्रश्न डर आमी उत्तर दीते भूलेगे जितने हमारे जीएस कुले जातु गुलो जीनी शामी की I সকালে উঠেছি কাজ করেছি রাতে বাড়িতে গেছি ঘুমিয়েছি সকালে উঠে আবার আবার বেরিয়ে পড়েছি কাজ করতে তো এই করতে করতে কখন মাস কেটে যায় সপ্তাহ কেটে যায় আমি বুঝতে পারি না বাট আমি একটা জিনিস মনে করি দ্যাট হ্যাভিং দি এবিলিটি টু ওয়ার্ক এন্ড গেটিং দি অপরচুনিটি টু ওয়ার্ক ইজ আ ব্লেসিং এন্ড সবাই এটা পায় না তাই আমি সবাইকে এখানে বলবো দ্যাট when people asks you to do something do it কারণ আমি মনে করি কোন কাজ ছোট বা বড় নয় সব কাজ সমান যে যেরকম সুযোগ পাবে সেই হিসেবে তার কাজ করার দরকার 
আর ছোট থেকেই মানুষ বড় হয় একদিনে কোনো মানুষ বড় হয়নি আমি চন্দ্রশেখর বাবুর কথা বলছিলাম উনি কুড়ি পঁচিশ বছর আগে লোকের বাড়ি বাড়ি ঘুরে ফাইন্যান্সিং করতেন সেখান থেকে হি ইজ ক্রিয়েট ইটস সাচ এ ওয়ান্ডারফুল তো যে কোনো জিনিসই শুরু হয় ছোট থেকে আর আমি এটা খুব মনে করি আর আই থিঙ্ক ইটস বেটার টু লিভ ইন আ ওয়ার্ল্ড ওয়ের ইউ হ্যাভ ওয়ার্ক রাদার দ্যান নো ওয়ার্ক সো আই থিঙ্ক ইটস এ সাইকোলজিক্যাল থিং ইটস এ মেন্টাল থিং ইটস এ স্ট্রেসলেস থিং You know, you're stressed only when you don't have a solution for work. You'll never be stressed when you work and you have a solution for it. So, Shedi ke Adityo shafol lo, I don't know, is there any reason for it? Is there any chabi kathi aache, or is there any reasoning aache, or mantra aache? For me, it's about doing the best in whatever you get. Uh, sometimes in life, we look, we look too far ahead. এবার এটা করবো এটার পরে এটা করবো এটার পরে এটা করবো ইট ডাজেন্ট ওয়ার্ক লাইক দ্যাট আই এম আ ফার্ম বিলিভার দ্যাট হোয়াট ইউ ডু নাও ডু ইট টু দ্য বেস্ট অফ ইউর এবিলিটি বিকজ ইট টেকস কেয়ার অ্যাবাউট দ্য ফিউচার ইটস ভেরি ইম্পর্টেন্ট ইন লাইফ টু লিভ ইন দ্য প্রেজেন্ট ইউ নো নট ইন দ্য পাস্ট নট ইন দ্য ফিউচার প্রেজ ইফ ইউ গো ব্যাক টু দ্য পাস্ট ইট উইল পুল ইউ ডাউন ইফ ইউ গো টু আ হেড ইন দ্য ফিউচার টু আ হেড অফ ইউর টাইম ইট উইল পুট এক্সেসিভ প্রেশার অন ইউ সো ইটস ইম্পর্টেন্ট টু লিভ ইন দ্য ফিউচার অ্যান্ড অ্যাজ আই সেড Uh, for me for me the reason of success is two things is one is effort if you don't put effort you don't succeed and secondly is belief is your faith in 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 yourself and i think i have played the sport for a long period of time from the age of 13 when my father first took me to the ground until i finished when i was almost 40 uh, amidst all the name fame and whatever the game brings to you uh, the most important thing what this game gave me was belief that you know if you put if you put me under pressure if you if you ask me to do something i will do it and a lot of people asked me that when you made a comeback when you came back to indian cricket in 2006 after being left out for 45 months how did you manage to do well i said for i said for not even once did did my did my mind tell me for the time when i came back for once i did not feel that i will not score runs so along with along with the ability along with the talent and every individual has talent every individual is born with a certain amount of ability but what actually takes you forward what actually makes you successful is is effort it's hard work and the faith in yourself that i will turn things around now in this journey of of being successful and in this journey of not being successful you'll go through the entire circle where you will have periods when you don't do well where you have periods when you when you don't deliver but you must remember that the next day is a new day the next day is a new day to succeed because that's what sport had taught me even if i got 100 in a test match or a one day i knew i had to start from zero the next innings i did not start from 100 and 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 when i when i got a zero or didn't get runs i knew i had to start from zero so at every stage of my career i had to wake up and start again but i like that challenge the challenge it actually kept you going uh, and i remember uh, when i finished playing cricket i was doing an interview with with one of the leading newspapers in the country and so they asked me that you stopped playing for the country uh, what is it that you miss most do you miss the dressing room do you miss the boys i said no i miss i miss the challenge of waking up every morning to succeed because i knew that if i was a little behind if i was a little behind in my game the opposition bowling and there were some greats in that generation the opposition bowling will get me out so i had to wake up every morning switched on and by the time 4:30 came in the evening either i was successful or i wasn't successful so the results were quick uh, you didn't have to wait for four days for an exit poll you got it in the same <laughs> evening you got it in the same evening so that that has taught me in life a lot of things you know in normal life you know it it has taught me not to be afraid it has taught me not to be disappointed it has afraid it has taught me not to be negative uh, and most importantly it has taught me that 
you put me in a difficult situation, I'll find my way out of it with my effort. So this is how you handle the pressure of performance. Yeah, the right. pressure of everything. Right. So when you became the captain of the Indian team, um, you inculcated in them a winning spirit, a fearless approach. Uh, the team, they sent a message to the cricket world, hum kisi se kam nahi. How did you do that? Yeah, because, because I, was, I was leading a country. I was just not leading myself where I had an opportunity to go and tell myself that, you know, you did not do it for yourself. But here I am leading a group of people and millions outside who are expecting you to win. So, I could not let them down. And, and you know, uh, uh, the competitiveness in, in myself actually got better with the expectation. And you know, there cannot be, there cannot be more honor for anyone and I say that uh, whatever you do in life than leading India. Than leading India, I don't know what is it in other sport, but in cricket it's an unbelievable honor. And I was captain for about six years, uh, you know, seeing the adulations not just in India but outside the country as well. All around the world where India went, there were just fans and people following you. And you could not let them down. So that competitiveness and the attitude to win came from looking at those people that, you know, they believe in you. Uh, they have appointed you as their leader to actually win and you can't let them down. And, and I think that's one of the reasons I was very competitive. Uh, and, and sometimes when I, uh, when I sit back now and I think about my life, obviously I finished uh, a lot of years after the game. Uh, I tell to myself that somehow you have to find a, 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 a rule or a mindset to sometimes see things from the back, which I can't actually even now. You know, you, when I got into cricket administration, uh, you know, I, I, I went to Eden Gardens for the first day and we were doing the World Cup. It was like as if I was playing the World Cup. So, I'm that sort of a person, a very intense person if you give me, if you give me something to do. I will, uh, and you know, because the most important thing which comes into my mind is, I can't let you down. I remember, and you've been an administrator yourself, when I first became president of CAB, India were playing Pakistan at Eden Gardens. And I have been a part of many India-Pakistan matches, obviously, as a player. Uh, and uh, Mr. Dalmia died, and then I was promoted to do the job. I, and as you know, in cricket, the most important thing is distribution of tickets. And I did not know where was where, what, which seats were where, which ticket I had to give to anyone. So one fine morning I decided I'll go to Eden Gardens and go and count every seats. That <laughs> where is what? Where is what? And if somebody asks me that I need, to, I need a ticket to go and sit there, I should be able to tell him that, you know, that part of the ground holds that ticket. So I'm that sort of a person. When I first, and then I've done a television show for the last 10 years now. I remember the first day when I went to the show and it got curtailed because of, of failure of the system. I came and told my mother that it's only a matter of time. It'll be two, three days and they'll have a new host. Because, <laughs> because I just finished playing and, and, and in my years there was a producer, there were participants, there were sponsors. The game had to move forward. They were asking me questions. I said, oh God, you know, it's, this is going to be a disaster. And, and I'm 100% sure that they will have somebody new. But I tried, I tried, I did, I did, and then I managed to succeed. So I, you know, this game, this game for me has been a huge learning experience in life. And, uh, and, and the most important thing what I've taken out of it is that you put me in a position of responsibility, I'll not let you down. Great. And, and responsibility has never been your burden ever in your career. Um, when you were the captain of your team, apart from that uh, Greek Chapel incident, if I ignore that, India team was a very happy team. When you became the president of CAB, CAB also was a very happy family. There was no complaint about distribution of tickets. <laughs> How could you manage that? Keep everybody happy. I think I have that art of keeping everybody happy. <laughs> I managed to do that. I don't know how I do it, 
but i somehow find my way to keep everybody happy and 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 the reason i think is uh, is it because i think i look at things in their eyes not at my eyes and i don't know whether it's right or whether it's wrong uh the basic intention of me in life is i hope you are happy that well, is important you come first ha uh, you come first and i think that's a that's a quality which i don't know how it happened is it i think it's from my mother i think you you met my mother many a number yes, of times nice. and when people come home i see her i know as if as if you know what has happened she'll make sure the food is proper the tea is proper the lights are proper the sofa is is in the right position so i'm a bit like that and and when i first came in when i first came in my uh, basic intention was to see that the members are happy because i had nothing to gain out of it i was asked to do a job and and i started doing it i knew nothing because i had hadn't done that before and 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 i did what i knew and with the basic intent and the mindset that i'll i'll try and do the best you know whatever i whatever i can do i will because i remember one thing you know when i was captain of india one of the greats of the game he was a former captain an australian captain and i met him in pakistan one day and we were touring pakistan i asked him uh, you know uh, what is what is it that makes uh, a, a good captain uh, in, a, in a, at international level he said he said he said something which i remember even today in my life he said you know sort of uh, when you put your head on that pillow in the night you must be able to tell yourself that you've done what is the best for the team at that particular day because you're not captaining for the media you're not captaining for the critics you're not captaining for uh, for anybody else or what people think about it because you can't control that these are beyond you what you need to control is what you do for the for the for your teammates and what you do with the best of your ability and i think i remembered that word all my life that whatever i do a small thing or a big thing or an important thing or a non important thing is that i try and do it to the best i can because i can't be somebody else i can only be myself and i don't know what others did because i've not seen it so i know i do what i feel is right for that moment and what is good for the people who i am working with have you ever done justice to others by doing injustice to yourself maybe maybe at times unknowingly 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 you do it uh, but i am that sort of a person who doesn't who doesn't like harming people uh, and and uh, i i i firmly believe that that with leadership and i've been in many leadership positions all my life captain of i began as captain of my state then i became captain of my country then i've captained the world teams for a for a few times then i got into a leadership position at bengal then got a leadership position BCCI. at the bcci when i became president so i have been in leadership positions all my or at at all my career and and i firmly believe that the good leaders or the most successful leaders are not vindictive the most ones actually uh, actually are are the ones who mentally and emotionally are above above the rest because that's the only way you can be a leader you know you cannot expect to be a leader and work work with petty things around people and i firmly believe that and and i believe that you know in life in in sport in profession uh, the only solution is by trying to give a solution and not by holding solutions great and and i firmly believe in that you know the easiest thing is to let things happen and probably the not so easy thing and a very common thing is to not let things happen and and i believed in the other option other thing that the only way you will be remembered the only way you people will respect you if you respect the other person and make things happen in life see this is what shorab mr shorab gangoli is coming back to pressure of performance during this ipl we saw that you stood much more than you sat in the dugout was mentorship more engaging than playing the game of course it is uh, mentorship coaching and and I, and i was involved with the delhi team even last year as well uh, it is much more difficult than playing because i said that to everyone that when i played my coach told me a few things and then i went into the middle 
I had the bat to go and hit a six. But as a mentor and a coach, you don't have it. Once the, once, once the players get into the rope, it's them and you have no control over what's, what's happening in the game. So, you're obviously a pressure, you're obviously more nervous because you can't hit a four or can't hit a six. And that, that, is, the, that is the disadvantage of not being a player. And, uh, and when you talk about pressure, uh, you know, pressure is something and, and I want to talk about it because, you know, all of us in life have pressures. As a businessman, uh, you have pressure because you have, to, you have to look at the profits, the balance sheet, make your business successful. Uh, we've as, as a player had a lot of pressure of performance because only 11 out of the millions could play. And if, you, and if you're behind in a couple of times, there's somebody else playing. So this is something which, is, which I've seen from the age of 14, 15 and even more as time went on. Uh, for me, pressure is something uh, which an individual in professional life must need to handle and know how to handle. And, and, and you know, uh, for me, the most important way of handling pressure is ex accepting pressure. You know, there are players who I had seen when you pick them against a tough team, a tough bowling attack, they would say, why me? And there were players who would, when you pick against the toughest of oppositions, find out, to, find out a way to get the best out of themselves. And I think for an individual, it is important to handle pressure. Because if you don't handle it, somebody else will handle it. And, and, and you will realize as you keep doing it, as you keep doing it over and over again, it becomes a part of your system. It becomes a part of your muscle memory. And, and, and the only way you can do it is by facing it. You know, a lot of people f believe that when they have been given a difficult job, a tough responsibility, uh, why, do you, why, why do you put me under pressure and you find a way to go out of it? For me, every job you are given is an opportunity. You know, there are two ways of looking at things. I remember when I batted at number three in my first test match in England and it were, it were seeming conditions in, in England and I managed to get a test match hundred. Uh, so when I came back, so when I came back, my, my father, my friends asked me, uh, why at number three? I said, you know, I, I only could get a test match hundred because I was pushed in at number three. And the difference between uh, uh, a normal individual and a successful one, the successful one is the one uh, who takes pressure as an opportunity. Uh, I'll tell you a small story. When my comeback in 2006, I was dropped for about four months in, in, in Australia. And then I came back in South Africa and, and I rem I had, there was a journalist, a young journalist, he was young then and I think he's still around, his name was Shumon. He called me up, that near the team got selected and he called me up and he said, why South Africa? You know, they are the best fast pulling attack in the world, they are tough pitches, green pitches, bouncy pitches. India were losing the one day series, you have three test matches to play. Why don't you come, why didn't, why do you have to go to South Africa uh, because West Indies was coming to India after that you would have batted on flat pitches and, and you would have been in the side. I, you know, I listened to him for a while because he was genuinely concerned about me and he wanted me to play for India. Uh, so I told him, you know, there are two ways of looking at it. I'm not a young player anymore. I have been around for a long period of time and it's, it's, you know, it's been almost 10 years. So I'm not somebody who's, who's starting a career. I said, if I go to South Africa and succeed on those pitches, uh, my captain, I, I, I was not captain by then, I had lost my captaincy. My captain, my coach, my selectors will always have it at the back of your mind, of their mind that when it came to tough conditions, when it came to pace, when it came to uh, the best fast bowlers in the world, this gentleman stood up and scored runs. So I will carry that tag for the rest of my career. And if I don't go to South Africa and, and play in the West Indies against the West Indies in India on flat pitches and I'll get runs, I'll play well, but they will still have it at the back of your mind that he ne still needs to go outside. He still needs to go outside the subcontinent to succeed. So I always looked at if you want to be successful and if you want to, be, want to play for a long period of time, you have to do the hard things. You have to do the hard yards. It's not about the easy yards. You know, the easy yards don't make you, don't make you a successful individual for a long period of time. So, it's never the easy route and, and, and I'm sure in business you have your tough days, in sport there are tough days, 
but the best in the business will always say when you put under pressure this is my chance to make a name for myself i, I can't you know stop myself asking you this question in 2001 that australia match india follow on korche to ki kore sei follow on kora match ta india jitlo yes harvajan hattrick koreche lakshmanan and dravid 283 koreche i know but what was the strategy there was no strategy god was kind okay that's the only way we won i had no strategy because uh, at the end of day 3 I was worried that I may not be captain of India after that series because we lost the first test and it was my first big series as captain I was a young boy in 2001 uh, 28 years old and um, uh, we lost the first test in Bombay and we were down and out in the second test day 3 at Eden Gardens I had no strategy because we were asked to follow on and uh, and Australia were much much ahead in the game though and I'll tell you a funny story the only person who knew i would win was my mother in law and i don't know how uh, on at the end of day 3 donna and my mother in law came to the taj with food we were staying at the taj hotel and and she came with food and and we finished dinner she saw me i was very sad and very upset ki we lose this test match so before leaving and uh, she packed up everything and she left just about leaving and she was exiting from the door she turned back to me and said tumra ye test match ta jeetbe my goodness yeah, so they went i could not call my wife because my mother in law was sitting in the car so as she went home and she was on her own i said yeah from ma ki khela dilo bhojena na ki what does she know she knows nothing about cricket we are struggling we are uh, followed on and australia is on the top and she comes and tells me uh, we are going to win i don't need sympathy uh, no we will lose and please don't bring her from next time because she has no idea about the game so it finished day 5 day 5 we won the test and had invited the team to my home for dinner so so my, and my mother in law's house is next door absolutely so i did not know the bus came in the police came in one of the players were uh, getting down of the bus so i saw my mother in law standing on the balcony and <laughs> shouting from there ki bole chilam to jeetbe and she shouting from there and all the players are asking me what happened what is she saying i said no no she was the only person on day 3 who said that i'll win the test match and i called my wife and said that she's absolutely rubbish she has no idea of what's going on how can she say that we'll win the test match and she was on the balcony jumping as if india only won the test match because of her predictions so she knew one thing you know that shorav is not a, is not just my son in law shorov is also god's own son i hope so i hope so but <laughs> yes before that i used to not take her very seriously but after that i started taking her very seriously <laughs> but i think i think that was a fabulous uh, fabulous test match and i think it was destiny there is no strategy sometimes you don't have strategy in life sometimes things happen and you know i'm sure in business uh, Uh, you will you will you will have no explanation for good days and bad days and i think sports is the same uh, but what it did was it made us a tougher team it made us a better team because we won from a situation where there was no chance for us to win and what it did was it gave us that enormous belief that from henceforth you know we are never out of any cricket match till it is actually finished and i think i am a firm believer in life and and i don't want to so- sound like a visionary or advisor i firmly believe in life that in everything it's never over till it's actually over this your belief in life uh, let me ask you you have got a personal life a professional life and a pro- public life mm. how do you balance i just be myself i just be myself i don't try to do anything different and the same everywhere you've seen me uh, probably a bit better dressed when i'm outside and in my kurta and pajama at home but uh, uh, i just i just lead a life I, I, as there's no change you know obviously home is a lot more a uh, lot more relaxing and lot more being on my own uh, but uh, i don't find any change in my behavior you know i deal with people the same way as i deal with people at home and i just don't differentiate you know i just walk in walk out mix with everyone that's the way i am i'm not a very aloof person you know i like people i like talking to people you know i like conversations with people 
uh, and I and I and I tend to do that. You know, I never think that I've played so much. You know, the other day as I as I was going through my Facebook, in the at, at sometimes in the evening when you're on your own, you go through the Facebook and I saw they put five names of all time five run getters for India, and I saw my photo pop up suddenly in that in that in that Great. top five. So I, I I never I never consider myself that. Uh, that was a part of my life, uh, professional life, but I'm that sort of a person who like making friends, who go and talk to people, understand from people, and I think that's why I still get loved so much by everyone because I'm just normal. I'm just one of them, one of the one of the others, and and that's the way I am. There's a biopic, Shorov Ganguly Rupor actor biopic hoche. Mm. Uh, at a question korbo on a lighter note. Dona Ganguly's Bhumika is that he is not here. Is there any suggestion for you? Actually, uh, they, have not, they have not finalized the lady who would act opposite Ayushman Khurana. Uh, I don't think I can suggest anybody in the character of Dona. <laughs> no wonder. So, uh, so I can my, understand the sacrifice. Uh, uh, my daughter, daughter keeps she suggesting me, Ki you have her, you have her, you have her. The other day she called me up and said, how far is your biopic? My daughter, she's in UK. I said, yeah, they finished the story, but they haven't spoken to me. How can they finish a biopic without speaking to me? I said, what do you know about me? <laughs> when I played my sport and when I was growing up, you were this small. So what do you know about me? He said, no, 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 I'm an important part of you. I need to put my suggestions in the biopic. I said, okay, I'll do it. Then, I, then she asked me, who's doing a, my mom, mother's role? I said, I don't know, they will decide. He said, please ask them, I'll suggest a few names. I said, who is your name to, to do my mother, your mother's role? He said, Tripti Dimri. I said, who? He said, no, that lady Tripti Dimri, you know, the lady who did in the film Animal. Then I called up Donna and said, you know, th this lady has been suggested as your, as, your, uh, as, your, as your role in my biopic. So she went through the social media and said, oh, she's much better looking than I am. <laughs> that was her answer. So they haven't decided on it and, and whoever they decide, uh, I'm sure they'll, they'll do a good job. When you retire, you have a t-shirt and a jersey, you have a show. You have written a lot of things. You have written a lot of things. He writes in Bengali. So uh, obviously in Bengali, he wrote that we'll miss you. So obviously in Bengali, he wrote that we'll miss you. Uh, I still have the t-shirt in my room uh, because the best memories of life are from the game. Whatever I, whatever I do or whatever I've done after that, there cannot be anything better than playing cricket. So that will always remain uh, with Sachin, Rahul, Anil. We started playing together from the age of 14, 13, 14. And Sachin was always the superstar, always the special, special player with the exceptional talent he had. But the rest of all also came up with him uh, working hard on our game and being successful and played together for 15 years for India. So those memories are always special. We don't get to meet them that often anymore because we all live in different, different cities. Uh, but uh, that care and affection is always there. And, and there were great moments. I still cherish every bit. Uh, and, uh, and you know, uh, these things will always remain with me forever. You created a number of leaders when you, uh, were, you were the leader of your own team, like Zahir Khan, Harbhajan, Yuvraj Singh. How did it happen? I think, How did you I think one happen? of the best qualities which I, which I have and which I had also of, of a man manager, I somehow find, or I don't know what it is, somehow find a way to manage people well. And, and when you deal with a when you deal with a, uh, with a group of superstars, when you deal with a group of people who come from different parts of the country, with different habits, with different ideas, with different knowledge, uh, at that level, man management is very important. And I think in, in business, in life, when you work with a group of people, managing them individually is, is very, very important. And, 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 you know, what I believed is, what I believed as a captain or... or whenever I'm put in a leadership role, is that my way is not the highway. You know, whatever I think cannot be the last word in, in that particular profession. Uh, I'm a very, 
I'm a person who listens and I'm a person who's ready to adapt to what you say because uh, I, I actually believe that, you know, people who you work with sometimes can actually give you better ideas, better guidance than you think about yourself. Uh, I, I believe that, you know, when you hire professionals, uh, you tell them what to do, you don't tell them what to do, you know. Uh, and I'm a firm believer on that. Good institutions, good organizations, good leaders don't hire professionals and tell them what to do. It's the other way around. And, and I realized very quickly that when I became captain, uh, that if I have to succeed, uh, these people have to succeed as well with me because I'm in a team sport. I don't play tennis, I don't play table tennis where just my skills will win or lose matches. A Tendulkar has to perform. 360 degree communication. Yeah, absolutely. A Tendulkar has to perform. A Dravid has to perform. A Harbhajan has to take wickets. So, so in, in my journey of leadership, uh, I created leaders. You know, I, I met them feel that I may have the word captain next to me, but their inputs, their commitment, uh, their performances as good or probably even, even better than me. And you know, the first thing when I, what I did was, I got the captaincy from Sachin. He decided not to captain and then I became captain of, of India. What did he tell you then? Yeah. Huh? When, when Sachin, you know, went up to you and said that from now captain. on you take up. You'll yeah, be take. captain. I couldn't laugh. I couldn't show my happiness because I could see the sadness on his face. Okay. And he, you know, he was a very dear friend. And it was at the one khade in the middle and, and he came up to me and said, you know, today is my last test as captain. I think the selectors will make you captain. I said, okay. Uh, I did not believe it till they actually made me captain. So I just listened and then, and then I, at the end of the day in the evening when they announced me, I was obviously very happy. So I was coming to the leadership point and, and, and the first thing when I went and when, I, when, I, when he gave up captaincy, I went up to him and said that, you know, uh, you are a leader in my group. You may not have the word captain, but this team will run on your ideas as well. It's not Great. just my ideas as well, because uh, I needed him to be with me. I needed Rahul to be with me. They needed to feel that this is my team. I need to get a hundred for the team to win. I need to get a double hundred for the team to win. Right. And, and, and that's the way I operated. You know, the number of times the players have got angry on me, and shouted at me in dressing rooms, no captain would have tolerated. You know, I tell Harbhajan… In fact, they used to ask you, why uh, I'm not playing? Yeah, they, I, used to, I, I told Ashish Nehra one day and he's a fantastic character. Uh, I'm surprised that he's been such a good coach. Uh, every time I used to leave him out, I knew he, the doorbell after the game will ring. And he would come in his Delhi shorts with those chappals from Connaught Place and walk into my room with a coffee and say, why am I not playing? You know, I've got wickets here, I've got wickets here, I've got wickets there. Uh, why did you not pick me? Now, I had two ways of looking at it. One was getting angry. Ki how come you challenge the captain? Right. But I looked at it the other way. You know, I used to think for myself, but here I have someone who wants to play. You know, the tough conditions, the tough situation, he wants to turn up and play for India. So, I rather have that, that sort of a person in my team rather than someone who you drop and just goes back to his room and sulks. True. So, so it, even it's a, Harbhajan asked you the same. A, yeah, once. it's a trait of it's a trait of their characteristics. It's a trait which you always looked at, and I'm not surprised. I'll tell you in the World Cup in 2003, Ashish Nehra had a very bad ankle, a swollen ankle. He fell the game before, and we were playing England the next game. I thought he wouldn't play. He had no chance of playing. The physio said that he had no chance of playing. So I went up to him uh, two days before the game and said, Ashish, uh, how is your injury? He said, Oh no, no, don't worry, I'll play. I said, how will you play? Will you be able to bowl? He says, yeah, yeah, you watch. You see the clock, I'll bowl at 150 kilometers an hour. So I went up to the physio and said, is he mad? He's saying that he's going to bowl at 150 kilometers an hour with such a big ankle. So I went and told the physio, I said, you know, he's saying that, so let's pack him. Let's see what he does. And he got six wickets in the game. So you need, you need that sort of characters. Outstanding. Yeah, you need that sort of characters in your team if you want to succeed. And, and, and I'm a firm believer that a good team, a good unit is never made up of yes-men. A good team is made up of people who will challenge you. A good team is made out of individuals who will challenge what you've said, what you've decided in a nice way. And I'm not saying in a rude way. And, and, and that sort of opinion and challenges are very important in development of anything. You know, it's not just about yes sir and yes sir and yes sir. It doesn't take you anywhere. 
it is all man management skill yeah, so at, at any level it was man and i'll tell you another story and i'm not taking names because there's media here and it will be in the headlines tomorrow uh, i had i had i had a player in my team who was very disciplined you know if you asked him before a test match that what would you do before a game he said you know i'm going to get up at 7 in the morning i'll go to the breakfast table i'll have an omelet i'll have a fruit i'll have a coffee and by 7:45 i'm on the bus to the ground and if you follow him in the morning of the game it was exactly the same and there was somebody else who in the morning of a game you would walk past your room and knock saying that are you awake are you awake we have a test match to play <laughs> he, he used to be ready more number of times scratching his way into the bus the same person when you walk into the dressing room his corner will be all over the bat all over the shoes all over the pads all over and the other corner would be spick and span the bats kept in proper place everything neat but when they both went to the ground they performed exceptionally for india now as a captain you had two things either you told the other person to behave like him and 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 be what he has done as a, as a, as something to look up to or you let him be what he is and i think when you manage individuals and when you know somebody has a way of performing somebody has a way of delivering things you allow him to do so and 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 with experience with over the years i learned that you know i have always said to people that when you hire someone when you pick someone you don't pick someone to fail as a as a leader as an owner as a businessman when you hire employees you don't hire employees thinking ek ek bachar baad bar kar do you hire employees thinking that he'll take your business your operations to the next level and i believed in that that you hired professionals to to make them good and i'm a firm believer in as a leader you take the fear of failure away from individuals because all of us in this room in this hall in this world wants to succeed you know when my father first took me to the ground to play i wanted to play i wanted to score runs for bengal i did not want to fail but every individual has this fear of failure ki what happens if i don't succeed and i think as an as a leader it is very important that you take that fear factor away you know when virendra sehwag first came into test cricket i asked him to open he said <laughs> open i said yeah open because <laughs> you couldn't find a place there was dravid at 3 tendulkar at 4 ganguly at 5 and lakshman at 6 and he was such an exceptional player he was sitting in the dressing room so i went up to him in england one day and i said viru tu open karna tu 6 number pe 7 number pe tu match bhi nahi khel raha hai he said dada maine kabhi delhi ke liye open bhi nahi kiya middle order batsman hu maine kaha dekhi jayegi yaar to maine o kaha dekhi jayegi matlab maine kaha agar out ho gaya to fir wapas aa jayega middle order mein kehta aap to mujhe drop kar doge maine kaha nahi nahi i won't drop you yaar i'm guaranteeing you that you open if it doesn't work you'll bat again in the middle he said aap mujhe likh ke do maine kaha ye kya koi shaadi ho rahi hai kya main tujhe likh ke dunga when i'm saying uh, it'll happen he opened he got runs in the first game he went on to get a 100 in the next game and he became a champion after that so so that's the way i operated you know when i have pushed him to do something when i have said that you know you do something out of the box out of your position i'm expecting him to perform i don't do it with the thing in mind ki yaar drop ho gaya to nikal denge you don't you don't get respect that way you get respect by creating characters you very rarely get respected by by you know finishing careers and i am a firm believer of that people will remember you for years to come if you've made their careers in your own way and never the other way around you command respect absolutely yeah to 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 me management is manage men t tactfully Absol- absolutely right so now you when you meet them your co players at that time if you when you meet them now how do you feel what do you all say i see the same respect i see the same respect uh, i see the same affection same love uh, they fool around with me a lot they even used to do that when i was captain because they had confidence in me ki you know he's he's one of us you know it's not like a policeman and you know you're scared of him because he's got the power he's got the authority to change things this they started to believe that saurav ganguly was one of them 
I've seen that in Dhoni. I see that in Rohit Sharma also. Great. That, you know, as a captain to your players, you're one of them. And I think that gets you more respect than, than anything else because then the players start playing for you. And I think that's very, very important in a team environment. Shalmoni tek je steel kar khana korchu, shei niye kichu bolbe? Yeah, it's on the way. It's, it's obviously, it's, it's a Bengal business council. Yes. Uh, so when I, uh, when I met Mamta Didi and said that I want to do a steel plant, she said, you and steel plant? <laughs> what will you do with steel plant? I said, no, I want to do. She did not know that. We had, we had two already in, in, uh, in uh, Asansol and in Patna. So then I showed her all the pictures and, and everything. That's what we do for the last 10, 12 years. Uh, so we are starting one in, in Gorbe, Gorbeta in Mednipur. Okay. Fingers crossed, um, it'll take another three, four months and hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to do a good job. Great. Apart from this, what are your future plans? I don't know. You can do what you do Okay. And uh, you are an example of success. Okay. So, <coughs> my, future plans. Ki? My biggest dream at the moment is to win an IPL for Delhi. I want to win an IPL. Great. You know, KKR won this time. We went to the finals in, in, 20, in 2019 and I was a part of the team for the first time. But we lost to Mumbai in the finals. And then I became BCCI president after that. So, I went away for four years and then I came back again. This year, we were good, but uh, we can be better. So that is one of my dreams because cricket is still the best thing in my life. You know, whatever I do, whatever money I make, wherever I go, whatever steel plants I do, but when I see that white and red ball and that cricket bat, nothing gives me more happiness. Hey, hey, BCCI president, I have a question for you. As a successful cricket player, what are the lessons that uh, helped you as an administrator, BCCI president, CAB president? You know, the most important thing which helped me as a president of the board and president of CAB was my knowledge of the game. Okay. You know, that is more important. Right. Uh, and with my experience of eight years, I was five years president of CAB and three years president of the board. Uh, and I was representing BCCI in the ICC. Uh, I did not find anything different Anything which was, uh, which was not known to me because I had done that as a player. And, and what are you administering? You're administering cricket, a sport. And, and I kept that in mind when I, when, I, when I got the job. I know it's an administrative job. I know it's a job on the table. But the basic rules don't change. That, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a skill to govern the game which you have played. So... I didn't find myself out of the place. Yes, there were, there were documents, there was a lot more paperwork, there were a few more rules, but the basic idea and the basic essence was the development of the game, which obviously with my experience over 20 years, I, I, I knew what to do. This is the most important thing to say about this, but the most important thing to say about this is the self-confidence. How do you motivate yourself? This is the self-confidence to say about this. I don't motivate myself, I just go and do it. I just go and do a job. I am nervous as somebody else also. You make things happen. Yeah, as you said, when Delhi was playing, I stand next to that, next to that perimeter board, biting my nails and, and looking the most nervous person in the world. Uh, because I also get nervous and nervousness is good. Nervousness is because you care. And tension is because you care. You don't, you, you, you're not, chodo, hoga to hoga, nahi hoga to nahi hoga. Then you don't become nervous. You're nervous because you want it to happen, you want to win. So, nervousness, pressure is good. You know, uh, you know when, you, when, you, when I used to pad up, when I used to pad up before batting and Sachin and Rahul are batting and I'm padded up next, I used to be nervous like hell. But when I went in, I took the guard, uh, it was a different person because I knew that nervousness won't work here. I have to play. So that switch on and switch off had to happen. So every time I get an opportunity to do things, because, because I care, I feel, I feel tensed about it. But I control that tension by doing that extra bit of work. You know, I, I firmly believe that you only get good by practicing. The more you practice, the better you become. There is, there is no other solution to anything in life. You put time at the office, you will get results. 
you put time at training, you'll become a better player. It has never happened that training and effort and your professional time has made you worse. It has not happened with anybody. And, and the, for me to succeed, it was simple. If you can't do it, if you're not being able to do it, do it over and over again till you can do it. So there's nothing else in life. Perseverance. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, I, when I was dropped in 2005, I used to run 20 laps of Eden Gardens. And uh, sometimes I used to run out of anger. I used to forget. So I would make up my mind that I'll do 10 laps of the ground. But I was so angry because I was not playing. And not playing not for cricketing reasons. And I couldn't tell it to anybody. I used to just keep running. Till somebody would come and say, Ki bas ho gaya, you stop. So these are things in life, you know. Your success, your uh, decision, your way of going forward, it's in your hands. You, might, you will get guided by people, your friend, your father, your coach. But at the end of the day, your success is what you do with what you have. It's not anybody's. Great. Mm. Lovely. I have a question for you. I want to ask you a question. I also want to learn from you, as we learn from everybody. And I want to ask you a Bengal Business Councilor members, আমরা সবাই বাঙালি বললাম যেটা আমাদের কমন ফ্যাক্টর তো আমরা চাইব যে বাংলা থেকে বাঙালি প্লেয়াররা বেশি খেলুক ক্রিকেটে এবং ফুটবলে ওকে তো বাঙালি প্লেয়াররা বেশি খেলছে না কেন কি করলে খেলবে আর অভিষেক পোরেল নিয়ে তুমি কি বলবে ফুটবলটা আমি জানি না বাপি দা তুমি ভালো বলছো যা ক্রিকেটে তুমি করবে সেটাই আমরা ভাই আছে এখানে আইএফএস সেক্রেটারি এখানে ওয়ান অফ দা নাইসেস্ট পারসনস আই হ্যাভ মেট এন্ড আই ফিল সো ব্যাড দ্যাট আই ক্যানট হেল্প হিম because I have not been able to. I've tried because when I see him, I just feel he's so honest. You know, he wants the sport to do well, but I see that he's stuck in the hardships of what football is in the country. Not yet commercialized. Uh, cricket is a different sport. We are fortunate. So, uh, so I mean, Bangali, non-Bengali, uh, non-Bengali, I don't believe. Uh, but the Bangali player can do it. Mukesh is not Bangali, but the Bangali player can do it. I am a Bangali player. 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 Hopefully, with time, he'll get that opportunity. Riddhi Man Saha, uh, probably after me, I played about 113 tests. The next most is Saha with 40 test matches. So he's a Bangali. So it's not that, not that they haven't done well, but I'm sure in the years to come, I don't know what's the recipe. I don't know what is the ingredient rather than training, practicing and believing. And I hopefully you will see a name in the next three, four years who will play for the country. Thank you very much for no, your cooperation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you it was much. a thank you. learning thank session you. for us. Thank you. Extra time. Extra time. Latest news and exclusive video from the update. Thakte, ekhoni subscribe karo na madir YouTube channel. Bell icon click karte bhulbe na jano.